Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. In this video, I will show you how to create a template from zero. I'm going to use this file and I'm going to share this file with you. Um, this file is containing a few items on a thesis. It's just only a simulation, yeah. It's a very simple one. You want to create a template, you must have something to simulate. This is the one, yeah. You can make your own if you want. It doesn't matter. What most important is you want to create the style on this side and you must have something to prove the output of that style. This is the one. And this is going to be the simulation. And the student can use this as a guideline to produce the document that you wanted. Okay, this is not the true document. It's just only a simulation. Go to view. Open navigation pane. So you must have your style pane on your right and navigation pane on your left if you look at this file the first page up to this point is your cover page yeah starting from abstract until list of figures is your item on your prefix and here introduction is your first title of your chapter one so I'm going to split this document into three section break. Yeah. Why I need to do this? Because I don't want to have a page number for this page. And I'm going to get this uh, strike as a page number one Roman. And this is number one Arabic. Yeah. Alright. Before we uh, start splitting using section break next page. I want to suggest you to control A, A, check the page, margin, and paper size. Go to layout, paper size, it is an A4, and margin, yeah, uh, on the top is one, on the bottom one, on the right one, on the left, I want to use 1.5 inch. Yeah. These are the setting of the margin for the portrait orientation. Assuming that I have only portrait orientation at the beginning. Later, I will show you how to adjust them. Click OK. See? See the movement of this side. You know, because you change from 1 to 1.5. Alright? So now we are clear about the uh, paper size. We are clear about the margin. Now I want to split. So I want to put my cursor here, here, in front of abstract, and I want to use this section break next page. Yeah. So upon after click the button, I will see section break next page. How to get this is uh, by using this um, show and hide. Uh, button yeah now I scroll down I scroll down I put my cursor in the front of interaction I use it for the second time so now I'm using uh, that button twice so meaning that I have three sections in my document yeah so if I put my cursor here at the bottom here you can see section one statement yeah section one uh, you can see this because I'm using a software to record this okay I scroll down this is my section one this is my section two yeah if you put your cursor here you put your cursor here you see the word section two at the bottom there yeah this is what we call this item is what we call Customize a custom status bar. Okay. So here is going to be your section 3. Instead, section 3. So there are three sections. So why we need this? Because we want to control the page number. Okay. Now I want to start creating the style. Now I want to start creating the style. Okay. 
uh, the style for the cover page is not very uh, interesting yeah I want to keep it uh, there at the moment now I want to uh, create the style for this right and the style for this okay now you can create style by select the item select the item go to home select the item see you want to have it center you want to have time show roman you want to make it bold yeah but you want to repeat the same idea you have to create the style for this yeah this is the first style new style okay i want to call this as a title preface have the name title and preface and click ok title preface okay next i want to copy the style for this yeah right okay i want to make sure the word abstract appear on the navigation page yeah. how can i do it i click modify okay click modify go to format paragraph uh, change outline body outline level body text to level one you change this one okay All right now you click and click ok one two three yeah you wait here one two three you see the appearance of this item these are the one who will ensure that you will get uh, your table of content okay so these are the basic okay now you want to always make sure that the item for this uh, title appear on new page yeah? so how to do it you have to modify it again modify format paragraph you choose this one line and page break you tick this one page break before yeah page break before line and page break page break before then you click OK. Then you click OK. What you see now is all of the item that we are mentioning just now is on new page. All right. Now the next step is to adjust the style for our next step. Yeah. Okay. Look, I put my cursor at the end of this style and i hit enter i hit enter you see uh, microsoft word automatically give me new page yeah if i do it again here microsoft will give me new page on the side this is not what we want so we have to do few adjustment again on this style modify here what we say style for the following paragraph yeah? because when you create a style automatically microsoft will give you the same style that you will create yeah? so my suggestion is change this to normal yeah? change to normal the one and then click ok right so now when you hit and enter you will get normal style yeah? So this item, this item is the style where what the style you get when you hit and enter. Okay. So now you can hit enter. Now you can hit enter. Not a problem. Yeah. This is the basic of uh, creating the style. Now we want to create the style for your heading. Yeah. So I want to use heading one. 
I want to use heading 1 here and I want to find my title for heading 2 yeah right they are sharing the same level okay let me show you first we have to insert the number one in front of it yeah go to matter level list choose this one okay you will see the number one one in the front of a uh, heading one two three see then we have to add chapter hit your cha uh, cap locks chapter and then click ok see you get this then you will get this and you will get this right ok you will get this and you will get this right can you see this uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing you can hit this you can hit this yeah and uh, 5 and 6 yeah all right so now we have a few layout what our this chapter all about later I will explain how to adjust this yeah so now uh, these are the basic idea of the template then you can generate your uh, table of content on your table of content here hit hit you go to you go to references you go to table of content you go to custom table of content Okay, choose tab leader, leave it like this, right? From template, show level to three. I will explain later what is the meaning of three here. And then I click, sorry, yeah, you put your cursor here, yeah, because this is the location where you want to put it. You, you put your table of content, custom table of content, choose this one, click OK. So now you get all of the item here. Okay, with the page number. Right. So we are still don't have our page number here. By default, Microsoft Word will give you uh, this number according to what he understood from the first till the end. Uh, it, uh, by using Arabic number. Now we have to assign which one is Roman, which one is Arab. Okay? Now you go to the first page of the Arabic number. It is here, not this one. Okay. You go to insert. You go to page number. You say bottom page. Yeah. Insert page number, bottom page. You choose this one. Yeah. So now you should be able to see the number that Microsoft Word gives you here. Okay, so now go to abstract again. This is number two. This is number one. Yeah, so we want to change this number from Rom uh, Arabic to Roman. What we should do? We double click on this number. We select it. Uh, okay, select it, and we show page number. We show format page number. Make it Roman. Yeah. And then click OK. Right? So now the number is now first is not Roman. Yeah. The second is Roman. Why? Because we have a uh, section break next page. You scroll down, you scroll down, you scroll down, you scroll down, you scroll down until you see your first page of the first page of your body, number eight. So Double click on this 8, select page number, format page number, it is correct, and you say you want to start at 1. Okay, currently it is continue from previous, that's why you get 8. Okay, now you click OK. 
see now you get one so now you go to table of content you right click and update field entire table see the page number is changing now yeah okay so these are the basic of the template if you know how to do this right on the docx you are not actually creating the template you are just creating the style on a normal template yeah developer the common template this is the docx file on the normal template so now this is still not this is still not your template so what you need to do to convert this DOCX to become DOTX. This is the one that not many people are aware of it, you know. So they know how to create the style, but they know how, what is the function of Microsoft Word template, okay. So now I want to convert this file to become a template. Go to File, go to Save As, go to uh, Simulation 5, yeah. I want to change it to become a template, yeah right now i want you to see look at in front of you currently i direct this file but i choose from from docx to become the otx yeah right so now i change okay now when i click when i click the OTX automatically the location is now changed yeah it's now changed from simulation 5 to custom office template this is the default location for any DOTX file or DOTN file okay so leave it there now I will teach you right after this how to move uh, this file yeah now I click save now this is no longer the OCX, this is the OTX. Okay, what is the character of the DOTX file? You go to document template. It is no longer normal. It is empty and the button attach is inactive. You cannot attach template with template. These are the case. Yeah. Yeah, so now you click OK. Okay, this is now uh, the first part of template where I just show you one, two, three style, yeah, two, three style. We have many more style uh, on the template. Please uh, look at my part two uh, of my video for the method on how to create Microsoft Word template.